In this class, we are going to learn how to add a custom field in dynamic form in Visual Builder application and we will try to create the template for this custom field wherein we will attach the select single component to the custom field. Now before we go ahead, I have created this department's LOV endpoint from the fusion. So if you see in the response, I am getting the list of all the departments within this items key and I am having a business object over here. So I will create a dynamic form in order to create the data for this particular business object wherein the department's name I will get as a drop down from this API. Now first of all, I will create a web application. Let me give the name as web app. Let me just minimize this and I will search for the dynamic form. It's over here. Just drag this and drop it over here. It will ask configure as a create form. I will tell S yes, and I will select the department object. Click on next and I will tell I want to name this as depth LOV demonstration. Click on this and select the fields I want to show in this name and the location. It's fine as I'm going to create the custom field. We have created a form over here and I will try to show the additional field. Now here if you see these all are the input fields, I will add the custom field which will allow us to populate the data with the help of select single component. Now I will straight away go to the layout page from here for this visual builder application that is to this one go click on the department, click on this department LOV which we have created. Now if you click on the fields over here, I will create one more field that is the LOV field, click on create. Done. Now let me just go back to the rule set, click on this and I will add the department LOV field which I have created just now. You will see this template information, just click on this create and you have to tell this LOV template. There is a spelling mistake, just click on create. So by default it will be of type input text. If you see over here, go to main start and just see. Here if you see we will see the LOV which is of type input text. Let me just go back to the layout template. Now what I will do is I will drop the select single component over here. I will drop couple of select single component one to demonstrate with the help of SDP another one with the ADP. First one I will name this as select single component with the help of SDP. And second one I will name this as with the help of ADP. Both the methods I will show you how to do ADP. Done. So we have to manually create the SDP variable. Go to the variable tab, click on plus variable. Here we have to name this as department SDP. Click on type and select the service data provider. Click on create. From here we have to select the endpoint. We will select the department's endpoint which we had configured. That is this one. Click on next and here we have to select based on the items we have to create. Click on finish. If you go to the types over here, you will see the type information for this SDP variable. So it is getting populated with the help of this one. Now key attributes I will tell I want to this based on the name and text filter also I will tell I want to filter based on the name. Let me just go back to my template. Here input text I will delete. I don't want this input text to be shown in the form. Rather I will make use of this SDP and the ADP. Done, deleted. Now come to the SDP variable. Here we have to select the data. Data I am selecting it from the SDP and item text I want to show based on the name. Done. Now let me go back to my screen. Here if you click on this SDP, we will be seeing the list of all the departments. We can select one. So if you see over here, all those fields are from the dynamic form layout. Now if you click on the ADP, nothing is happening because we have not configured. Now in order to create the ADP variable, first we have to define the type. So this type we have to define within the template types over here, not from the page types. So here I will tell from the endpoint, click on the services, click on the department LOV, select this one. I will tell this is for the ADP and in the response, I don't want to show from the root. I need just the name, location ID and the organization ID, click on finish. Then our type looks like this. And coming to the variable, I have to create one department ADP variable and this is of type ADP, click on create and here I will tell this is of type ADP type which we have created. Key attribute, I will tell name here, text attribute filter also name. Now we have created the ADP, unlike SDP, ADP variable we have to populate the data with the help of action chain. 
I'll create a event listener which is based on the VB enter event. Click on the plus action chain here. I will name this as VB enter action chain. Click on finish. Go to the action chain. Here the first step will be calling our API that is the department's service over here. Expand this and just select this one. So once we get the data, what we will do is we will assign the response from this to the department ADP variable which we have created. Now response we will get from this body and the items we have to map that is array to array we have to map so once we have populated this we have to go back to our template select this adp go to the data click on the fx we have to drop the adp over here and in the item we have to tell name then we have populated the details for select single based on adp as well as the sdp now let me just go to my page go to the page designer over here First, I will click on this SDP. I am getting the data select. Now, click on the ADP. It looks like there is some error. Let me just see the error. Assign non array. So, assignment we are doing within the action chain. Let me just see the action chain. Here, if you see by default, it has considered this as a variable. So, this is not a variable. This is an expression. So, we have to just remove the quotes. So, I am not sure why this is happening in my instance. Suppose if it is happening in your case as well, just remove the quotes. So, this is an expression for us go back to the page designer here let me just refresh the page because i want to load that action chain that which will be fired based on the vb enter event click on the sdp select the value click on the adp now if you see we are getting the data in the adp as well click on one of the value so like this we can create the custom fields in the dynamic form or we can overwrite the template for any of the fields in the dynamic form and we can make use of the select single component and populate with the help of sdp as well as the adp